Boosted Dreaming is absolutely insane. It honestly should be classified as a superpower. Basically, lucid dreaming is when you fall asleep and begin dreaming, but become aware that you're dreaming without waking up. During lucid dreams, people can actually control what is happening in their dream, essentially transforming their dreams from a movie that they're watching into a video game that they are actively controlling. Now, with that said, I think you can understand why. I'm spending the next three days trying to learn how to lucid dream. Now, for full transparency, I actually have had a few lucid dreams in my my life probably like one or two but the thing is I had always thought that it was just random okay and that there was nothing I could do to incite a lucid dream and make it happen but apparently this whole time I've been wrong yeah I'm wrong because some studies suggest that anyone can learn how to lucid dream so over the next three days I will be attempting to learn how to lucid dream so we will have three chances three chances for it to happen which uh, now that I say that it's it's not really a lot however we actually have another issue. I am the world's lightest sleeper. And during my research about lucid dreams, I found that they're kind of fragile and that during the lucid dream, you can wake up really, really easily. So then the issue could be that instead of lucid dreaming, every time I try to lucid dream, I'll just wake up instead totally destroying my chance of lucid dreaming. Okay, but regardless of the obstacles in front of me, I am determined to lucid dream in the next three days. So, the first thing I needed to do was further educate myself on lucid dreams. You know, why they happen, how they happen, and how you can make them happen. So I set out to learn everything that I could, and during my research, I think I found the five main ways to learn how to lucid dream. Here's what I found. From what I'm reading, if you want to incite lucid dreams, you need to do something called reality testing. And this will sound weird, but it's basically where you do things to check if you are dreaming or not while you are awake, like jumping and seeing if you can fly or like trying to see if you can push your finger through your palm. Now, the reasoning here is that if you can get into the habit of questioning reality while you are awake, it increases the chances of you questioning reality while you're sleeping, which is how you start lucid dreaming. In the real world, um, my cartwheel is trash, so I'll know if I'm dreaming if my cartwheel is uh, good. <laughs> yeah, not dreaming. The next tip is that you just need to sleep more in general. Lucid dreaming happens during REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement sleep. So you need to try and get as much sleep as possible to maximize the chance of getting REM sleep, which maximizes the chance of lucid dreams. The third tip I found is the power of suggestion. Apparently, if you suggest to yourself that you're going to have a lucid dream before you sleep, studies show that you actually increase the chance of having lucid dreams. The fourth tip is to keep a journal of your dreams, a dream journal. If you get into the habit of writing down and recalling your dreams, apparently it's a whole lot easier to lucid dream. Okay, and the fifth and final tip that I found is to try and meditate on your past dreams before going to bed. So I began my lucid dreaming preparation routine. I went about my day literally reality testing everything, which definitely was kind of weird, uh, but hey, we gotta commit to it. I plan to go to bed at 9 p.m. to ensure that I can get enough sleep and hopefully enter REM sleep. I built my dream journal, then as bedtime approached, I began the suggestions to myself. I kept repeating phrases like, tonight I will lucid dream, over and over. Yeah. I know it's weird and you're probably laughing, but who's going to be laughing tonight when I have a lucid dream and roll the world? Yeah, probably still you. Anyway, finally, after a long day of preparation, the moment had arrived. I got in bed at 9 p.m. and I started focusing on past dreams. And before long, I drifted off. I did not lose a dream last night, and it's because of the obstacle I told you about in the beginning. I am the world's lightest sleeper. I started to dream three different times last night, but each time I started to dream, I woke up. Now, while that was super frustrating last night, it gave me an idea that I think we can use to defeat light sleeping for the rest of this experiment. <laughs> Okay, I just realized I didn't get a shot of me paying for this, uh, but I promise I did. Okay, but here's the thought process. Every time I started to dream, I woke up. Melatonin helps you fall asleep and helps you stay asleep. So my thought process is tonight I'll take this and hopefully I can dream again, but this time not wake up and then hopefully turn that dream lucid. When I got back to my place, I started my lucid dreaming preparation routine again. I was consistently reality testing, suggesting to myself that I was going to have a lucid dream. Then as bedtime approached, I started thinking about past dreams. And then one hour before bed, I took my secret weapon melatonin baby i was hopeful that tonight night two was the night i got under my covers and closed my eyes excited to see what was on the other side oh wow yeah didn't mean for that to rhyme by the way but i guess you can't stop a true poet okay 
I didn't lucid dream last night. <laughs> the melatonin definitely worked and I knocked out, but I don't remember anything. <laughs> I feel like any other content creator would just lie about this and then make up some wild lucid dream that they had even though they didn't actually do it just for your own entertainment. Oh my gosh, guys, welcome to day two. Uh, last night I had a insane lucid dream. It was crazy. Um, so, so basically what happened was um, I, uh, I was a bug. Well, well I, I became a bug because cause, cause it's lucid. Um, and uh, I, I explored around and um, I, I... I'm gonna keep it real, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But tonight is the last night, so we are praying it happens tonight. Okay, so at this point, I was annoyed for a couple of reasons. One, I really wanted to lucid dream during this challenge, and two, I don't want this video to be lame with me not achieving anything. But I needed to put my frustrations aside and start focusing on tonight, the last night for me to lucid dream. So just like nights one and two, I began my lucid dreaming routine. Tonight I will lucid dream, tonight I will lucid dream, tonight you will lucid dream. Really trying to make sure that I did every single thing possible to ensure that a lucid dream would happen. Oh, also, at this point, my dream journal is literally empty. Like, come on, I made a whole new journal for this? I wanna fill this thing up. I want it to be just busting with sick dreams I've had. Absolutely busting. So I'm praying that tonight could be the first one. Anyway, time quickly passed, and before I knew it, it was 9 p.m. again. This was my last chance. Tonight, I will lose a dream. Tonight, I will lose a dream. Tonight, I will lose a dream. Oh my gosh. I did not lose a dream last night. At this point, I have no clue what the issue even is. I, I feel like I'm doing everything exactly the way I'm supposed to be doing it. Uh, I just don't even know. Okay, I had two choices here. Give up or find a way to make it happen. And since the whole purpose of this YouTube channel is to encourage people to push themselves and to grow, well, the first option wasn't an option at all. I was determined to find a way. So I sat down at my computer and did a Google search that would change this whole experiment. Oh my gosh, okay, so there are like sleep masks that flash lights while you're sleeping to help induce a, a lucid dream. Okay, oh my gosh, there are lucid dreaming pills that you can take. Okay, I have an idea. In that moment, I realized I hadn't failed at all. I had just found a bunch of techniques that didn't work for me. But this right here, this could work. So I bought the products and I'm hoping that these will be the tickets into my own brain. And if you want to see what happens next, make sure you subscribe because next week I'm posting part two of this video series where I'm going to test out these purchases and see if they can finally bring me into lucid dreaming. Until then, I think you'll enjoy this video of me trying the Navy SEAL morning routine. Uh, I did it for a week and in case you're wondering, no, it was not fun at all.